eight. Hey guys, seven, this is John, and I'm playing eight, Hourly Bullet Arena five, on leechess.org. Four, three, we have 33 two, players. One, I'm playing this tournament zero. immediately after the previous one, so I suspect we'll get some of the same characters like Jaffa Cakes or Jonah K. And we face Jonah K in the first game. All right, so this is a speedster. We've got to keep our wits about him whenever we play Jonah K. He's playing kind of a slower King's Indian attack position. Uh, I think I'm going to take, actually, just so I can free up the d5 square for my use. Hmm. Let's go queen b6 and maybe put the queen on a6. This looks unpleasant for him because now I'm threatening to take on e4. So he sidestepped that. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, knight e5, put pressure on d3. Looks okay. Can I take? Taking looks like it works. I think I'm going to do it. This is a nifty move. My bishop on h7 and my queen on a6 both assisting with this idea. Yeah, so we win a pawn. Let's get the knight into d3. This also looks kind of nasty for him to deal with. Maneuvering our knight. Let's see if he wants to swap some pieces. His b2 is weak at the end. Yeah, he's going to go after my a7 pawn, but I'm happy to trade that. Um, hmm, it's annoying. Maybe he can win c6. Looks like he does. His bishop is trapped, though. Also, his knight is pretty trapped, too, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so he has to sack stuff to get out of this, which you just saw him do. Hmm, let's put the knight on c3. Let's give a check and then go here. I'm just searching for ways to make his life miserable. It's not simple. Hmm. I don't want to take on uh, d6 quite yet, if I don't have to. Watch your time, John. It's a big factor. I think he's going to sack that. Yep, he does. Ah, drop that bishop. Let's see if he does that. This guy's fast, like I said. Just going to go take all his pawns. All right, we get the victory. Yeah, I figured eliminating his pawns was our best chance right there because he was just pretty moving. Okay, so we win the first game. We have 73 players in. How's it going, the co-pilot? I only put out like a tweet with 30 seconds advance warning because this one was played, like I said, immediately after that last tournament. Vasya 2 is the next opponent, 1926. I'm not going to berserk this game. We're just going to keep it real and play with the full one minute. All right, pretty harmless setup. White is choosing here. Let's go h6 and see if they want to swap. They do. Hmm. They push e4 without any prior preparation. That just loses a pawn. Okay, let's go here. Maybe I could play the bishop into a3, but I'm going to play to open the center instead. I like the look of this, trying to make way for the bishops. These are dangerous pair of bishops now. I'm bearing down on f2. Uh, let's play here and take over the c file. Yeah, he wants a trade. Okay, we'll agree to that for now. Got to watch f7. That's pretty much the only weakness we truly have to cover. Hmm. Let's go here. Attack that knight from a creative direction. Let's go queen c6, just stopping any movement of that knight. Now we'll slowly try to take over the file, both the D and the C files. Okay, let's do this. I might take the knight, but for the moment it's not necessary. Okay, now taking it is clearly good. Oh, and he hung his queen too. All right, so Vasio went off the, the rails at the end there. Uh, this looks like a reservable game against PDX Adu. Let's look to advance in the center. I'm going to sack that pawn. Okay, he didn't take it, though. <laughs> now he takes. Ooh, this looks like it could be fun, maybe with knight e5 coming. If he takes, I can take on... Uh, ooh, queen takes f7 mate. If he took on e5, I could take on a8. But queen takes f7 mate is nice. We've also got Fearless Warrior 2247. He's won all his games. He's currently playing a 1585, so probably he's going to win. 
Singularitas, recognize that player. And we play Singularitas. Okay, we're getting a... I don't know what you call this line. It's not a Terash because they haven't played E6. So it's just kind of an offbeat line. Black gets backward development in playing this way, though, so they got to be careful now because bishop b5 check is a pretty big threat. Yeah, so black covers that. Let's go queen b3 and try to attack b7. I just think it'll be hard for them to complete their development. They might have to play g6 and fianchetto. Because if they play e6, I can always take if I want. Yeah, so this looks like what they need to do, but d6 looks well-timed because if they castle, they lose e7. And if they take, we take with the bishop. Okay, so he's going to choose to give up e7 in a bid to free himself. But we can play to defend this guy. So let's take that. Let's go and attack here. Oh, let's do this. Just back this up. Yeah, tough to play when you got that pawn on e7. Let's drop this back. b4 is not a threat that we have to worry about yet. Um, how do I get... Okay, I'm going to maneuver this knight. I wanted to make sure my bishop doesn't become trapped, so I think this is the best way to do that. Okay, now we can take here. Hmm. Bishop b6. Rook e1. Okay, let's do this. See if he wants to sack. Knight g4 is kind of a shot in the dark, just playing for a checkmate, but... He's going to get made in himself. I guess technically I didn't have to take the knight on g4. but So we get the victory there. And we're in second place behind Fearless Warrior. I look forward to a clash with him. And Tony is in third with nine points. Fianchetto. DV Razor is in. Folale. Who I, whose name I can never seem to pronounce correctly. All right, let's go Berserk against Snake Eye. We're up a pawn, so this is promising. Oh boy, I blundered f7. That's not good. <laughs> not good. All right, get that out of the way. Total blunder of f7. I want to trap this bishop. Hmm. Maybe I can do it. Whoa, what is going on? Okay, let's take that and then take here. Now we're going to castle by hand. Take here. Let's go knight g4. Knight g4 is a really bad move. Uh, okay. He can chase me away with h3 at any moment. This is not a good position. Not good at all. Okay, I'm going to play for a queen trade because I think my position is dangerous already. Oh, yikes. <laughs> knight e7, anyone? Okay. Now he wants a queen trade. All right. Well, this gives me a chance at least, but with 10 seconds, it's going to be tough. Uh, come up and attack the knight. Whoa. He can take d6. He can give some checks. I want to get out of the way so I can double up my rooks. Let's see if he wants to trade. He does for some reason. Hmm. Let's run that guy. Ooh, and I won on time somehow. Okay, <laughs> so we get the flag victory. Kind of went out of my way to berserk that one, and somehow won with less than a second left. I do like that Lee Chess shows the uh, tenths of a second now. That's quite convenient in time scrambles when you're pre-moving. All right, we're playing Kabul, the guy whose German name I cannot pronounce. Someone told me in my in the YouTube chat that this guy's name stands for like Codfish Warrior or something like that. And I am blundering because I'm allowing Knight takes e4. He didn't see it. Okay, let's go here. This position is still kind of awkward for me, but I'm going to try to unwind. So yeah, I'm playing the Codfish Warrior. <laughs> Hilarious username. Let's play a3, try to undermine the queen side a bit. I'm going to go a4 now. 
make something happen here. Okay, maybe I have time to maneuver. Despite my poorly played opening, I think I have time to do this. Okay, let's go here. I don't want him coming into d3, so that's the motivation behind this. Knight f or queen f3 and knight f6 soon. Looks like a plan. I'm allowing knight d3, but I hope that's okay. Okay, this check looks really bothersome to him. Because now I can always try to get something into h6 to checkmate him. And we can prepare the doubling up uh, on the h file. Okay, so now bishop g7 becomes a threat. Okay, let's do that. Rook g4. Yep, get on that. Let's bring this over. Okay, let's force a trade. It's way down on time. Queen the pawn. Okay, so we win that one. Our speed was good there. We kept up the speed. I was worried that when I lose, lost that pawn in the opening, or hung that pawn in the opening, I should say, he didn't take it, that my position would kind of collapse, but he didn't capture on e4 and we got a second chance. Thanks, Enigma Hack. He's rooting me on in the chat. I'm just going to stick with knight f3 and g3 as white, because this has been working for the past several tournaments. So I'm not going to fix what's not broken. <laughs> okay, let's go here. Maybe f4. Let's play to take over the center. And attack that knight. Okay, take here. Mm hmm. Something says I should attack. I should go after him. Knight d5. Hmm, let's go knight f6, because now he's got to take, and I have this monster pawn on e7. Okay, he's going to play it this way instead. Uh, he can, it can defend against that. Okay, let's go here. If he takes it, I'm going to play queen d6, I think. He can get some threats going towards my king, though, queen h4. Well, I'm surprised he took that. I am very surprised by that, because I don't think that's a good idea. Playing an endgame when he's clearly in worse shape. Let's just go here to defend c2. All right, c4. That was probably an awful move. He has bishop c3 now. Fortunately, he didn't play it. Rook a8. Yeah, rook a8's a nice move to force the rooks off the board. Now d7 is coming. Rook c7 also in the offing. He's trying to stay active, but there's only so so much you can do to stop this stuff. Okay, now rook e8 is coming. He blocks that. If he takes d7, I have rook d1. Go pick up the bishop. All right, he resigned. Back to tournament, 26 points. Fearless Warrior has lost his last three. So that's great news because not only is he eight points behind, but he's not on a doubling streak as well. Fianchetto is kind of right in there. Just Kid. How's it going, Ben? This is my student, Ben. Mr. Just Kid. Joining the action. We have an exchange Slav where White is playing eh, kind of an innocuous line once again. Not once again uh, in terms of Ben's play, but I faced a couple lines that aren't like too dangerous recently. I'm going to try to get my knight into a4 maybe. This looks like a good way to play this. Maybe I can maneuver a bit. Okay, let's do this and try to go for d4 perhaps. Lock him out of the out of the play. He might want to swap and then play rook c1. I think he's going to do that. Let's go here. <clears throat> maybe f6. What is my knight doing on a4, though? I'm not sure that's the best place for it. Okay, I'm going to take... I'm hoping this is all right. I didn't see bishop takes b7, I must admit. Hmm. Attacks the knight. Okay, let's drop that back. Okay, this looks nice now. He's going to have to be careful. 
We're getting some, some stuff going around as king. Okay, let's do this. Maybe bishop d5 to come. Try to get on this with queen e4. Okay, let's give a check. Oh, we, we just win the queen. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking king e2, queen f3, but yeah, we just take the queen. All right, so we beat Just Kid, who looks like he joined late because I don't see him on the first page. Jonah K is going to come on strong, probably. Attack A2, who's 1880, but having a great tournament, up 166 points. Playing Fianchetto. Let's play a Slav in this one. Ooh, and he plays aggressive E4, so we can try to hold on to the pawn now. That is what we will do. Let's play E6. Might as well take E4 now. Yeah, so we want a crucial pawn. I don't think white has much compensation right now because he's got like the e5 square, a couple other things going for him, but beyond that, it doesn't look like he's, he should have enough. Okay, let's play c5. He can't take it because the queen behind it. Uh, knight bd7 looks all right. If he takes it now, we take with the knight. This is a nice development. If he trades, not only is there going to be a back right threat, but also b3 is undefended. So I can take here. Yeah, white's losing material. Let's just take that. He has to take with the rook. Now let's go attack a4. So we're going to win this pawn too. Force another trade. Let's run the a pawn. Which he cannot stop now. All right, so we went against Fianchetto, 10 points ahead of the field. Still some time remaining, though. This is not completely out of range for someone like Jonah K, but he's going to have to catch up. Who is this player? Kopf Schlechter, another German-sounding username. Okay, let's take an attack C6. Let's drop this guy back. So now we have, like, a English-type position. And I'm going to go H3 so I can prepare Bishop E3. He might try to attack C4. But right now, I think I have countermeasures against that. Okay, let's bring the knight up to d4. Hmm, knight a4 doesn't look so good. Nor does that. Okay, let's play knight d1. That was a bit annoying, because if I had put the knight on d5 or e4, he could take, and h3 would be hanging. So I think I'm forced to play it this way to defend. Okay, let's take that. You can go knight d5, maybe? Okay, let's bring this back. Let's play bishop d4. This is unfolding nicely. We've won a pawn. Also, my play in the center looks good. Uh, let's play rook over here. Maybe try to swap some stuff down the file. Hmm. I want to get these pawns going eventually, but it's not a simple task. Okay, I might as well just take that. I don't think I'm gaining anything by delaying that exchange. He was attacking a2. This does lead to an opposite color bishop position, but on the whole, I think this should be okay. All right, now we have uh, some nice attacking chances against this king, I believe. And he hung his rook. So the rest should be a matter of technique, as they like to say. Keyword should be. Let's give back a little bit of material, just to clarify the situation. Uh, I can take here. Threatening rook e8. And that's going to be checkmate after queen f5. So he resigns. 38 points, still keeping some distance between Jonah and Nye. Probably in about two more minutes, he's going to be forced to, I mean, maybe even right now he should start berserking if he wants to win the tournament, but 10 points is a pretty significant margin. All right, Fianchetto, I'm just copying you for now. <laughs> I'm not going to do too much different for the time being. I won't play knight b3, though, because I don't think that's a very good move. What is your knight doing over there? Hmm. Let's play for a5 and try to go a4. Then maybe c5. Get some play going on this wing as well. Okay, let's take that. Hmm. Okay, let's go here. I'm going to keep the queens on the board for now. Let's go here, attack b2. Drop this guy back. 
Not sure if my pawn on a5 is the most well-placed piece, but for the moment it doesn't do too much harm. Okay, let's go after c4. c4 is looking tender. How to defend it? Rook d4 for him, but then there's bishop f6 maybe. Okay, so he's going to give me this pawn. Ah, he's taking b7. That's what he's up to. Well, that's kind of nasty. Ah, yeah, that's a good move. Okay, I have to go here. Knight e4. I can take on c1 at least. All right. Hmm. Okay, let's do this and try to win the pawn. He might play for an attack, keep the queens on the board. Nope, he's just going to play to exchange. All right. Double rook endgame? Nope. Pieces being kept on the board. Rook c1, there's knight e2. We pick up the rook. All right, so we're going to get that victory. I was a bit worried when he played queen takes b7. He might have had something better there, but I think the fact that I can take on c1 limits the damage. What's up, Yako Hearts and poor York? Sebastian repping Team Scandi as well. Who's this guy? GU989. Berserking, too. All right. <laughs> Can't say I've seen this before. I'm just going to play solid and try to flag him. That's usually the best policy against Berserkers. Play solid, look for the flag. See if he wants to swap. Ooh, because now he's blundering bishop c5. That is quite the misstep by him. Okay, let's just line up on the c file. I'm just going to sack an exchange because my position is overwhelming. Let's take that guy. Advance the d-pawn. No checkmate. King always escapes. Looks like he's going to play it out. Let's just keep him locked in. Bring our king up. All right. Well, that was bizarre. <laughs> A random 2500 something, 2553 comes in and tries to berserk, but yeah, unsuccessful. All right. So we're playing Jonah again. This game's going to be critical. Okay, I'm going to take on d5. Not sure either of us pl are playing this totally accurately. Maybe I can get a chance to attack their queen side. We'll see. I want to open the center real quick, but it's tough. Okay, let's take and then play e4. If d4, I have knight b5. Attacking c7 and also hitting d4, so he might have to part with a pawn. Ooh, he's going to do that. Okay, that's creative. I didn't see that. a3 next, looking for b4. He's kind of stuck. Okay, let's take that guy. Let's come here. Hmm. I'm going to play f3. I think this bishop being so out of play helps me. Okay, bishop f1. I don't feel awkward playing that. Now knight c3 could be a threat. Although I probably want to hold off on it for now. I'm just going to... Okay, you just resigned. Oh, I have rook d8, mate. <laughs> that explains it. All right, so with that victory, we officially put the tournament out of reach for everyone else. 50 points. John, on a scale of 1 to Donald Trump, how angry do you get about cheaters? Uh, I would say like a 2 or something. Ooh, and we got YB Matt. Just when I thought I could relax, we get paired with a excellent opponent. Okay, let's take that and play d4. Bishop g5, just kind of pin him. You never know what will happen in these bullet tournaments. Someone could join the mix right at the last moment and really make things interesting, right? <laughs> Okay, let's go h3 and maybe g4 hereafter. Let's try to track his queen plus knight. YB Matt is not a player we've seen much of recently. They used to be a fixture of the Lee Chess tournament scene, but yeah, like I said, I really have not run into them much lately. Let's play here and try to keep a knight out of b4. The rating's really high, 2713. It's a massive rating. Okay, let's drop this back. I'm feeling good right now, though. I'm playing well. I mean, on the whole, the, the tournaments are going well for me at the moment. Let's open the center. 
I'm going to try to run him over if he takes on d4. So we get a lot of pressure coming in. Let's go here, pin him. Ah, he can just take, though. He believed us. Oh, this is looking really good. That pawn on e6 is a substantial threat. Oh, that's a nice move. Okay, I'm going to come here. See if we can give up an exchange. Hmm. It's not the most simple position to consolidate. Okay, I'm going to do this. Whoa, he's exchanging. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, rook e2 maybe next. g5. Attack that rook. We're up on time. He knows it too. All right, we win against YB Mad. All right, tournament time over. So we win with a perfect score. And yeah, pretty smooth. I don't think we were in too many terrible positions. There were no games I can recall where I was like completely lost and got back into it. Certainly some potentially worse positions, but nothing, uh, nothing undeserved maybe. So yeah, we take first place. We played 14 games. Some pretty tough competitors. This tournament got a lot of strong ones. 126 players. Jonah K got second and Lance. 5,500, another player I've never seen before, 2660, got third. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll be back again soon with another video. Talk to you guys later. Bye.